rise as you are able. And face the back of the sanctuary, please. Welcome in the name of Jesus, the Savior of the world. We are gathered to worship, to proclaim Christ crucified and risen, to remember before God our sister Shirley, to give thanks for her life, to commend her to a merciful Redeemer, and to comfort one another in our grief. A pall is a symbol that we are baptized into the death of Jesus, and thus we are raised with Jesus like his in the resurrection. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Our opening hymn is 320 in the Green Lutheran Book of Worship. Today, or today, our sister Shirley. We thank you for giving her to us to know and to love as a companion on, in our pilgrimage on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in, in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may live in confidence and hope until, by your call, we are gathered to our heavenly home in the company of all of your saints. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The congregation may be seated.
asked to add an addition to the obituary, which is printed on the program. Dieta Hartman is a sister-in-law, and Charles, her husband, the brother of Shirley. The lesson is from the third chapter of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to tear, and a time to sew. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time for war, and a time for peace. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Please rise as you are able. <coughs> the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 15th chapter. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may also be. And where I go, you know, and you know the way. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you so long and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me and works and he will do greater works than, than he will do, because I go to my Father. He has prepared a room for you. The Gospel of our Lord. You may be seated. What do you say about such an awesome, wonderful person that Shirley was? Well, Shirley was many things to many people during her wonderful life that she shared for us. A devoted wife, one month shy of 62 years, a mother of three children, a grandmother of six. Family, grandchildren, and extended family were very, very important to her. And it's present today as with all of the friends here filling the sanctuary. She was a dedicated teacher for 34 years, teaching mainly kindergarten. After all those years, she could remember all of her students by name when she met them. 
In fact, many times her students would approach her and tell her that she was their favorite teacher. And she would even tell them, well, I've taught you and I've taught some of your kids. Even when her memory began to fade, she could remember their names. Shirley grew up on a farm north of Paxton. She loved this area of western Nebraska, especially simple things, like going to Lake McConaughey or watching the sandhill cranes. Two of her favorite things were watching butterflies and admiring flowers. She could name almost any flower which just amazed her family and everyone around her. I mentioned earlier that she was a teacher for the public school systems, but she was also a lifelong learner, learning from the mistakes that she made. And she encouraged her family to keep learning and evolve from the mistakes that they made to become better people. During her life, and I know this for the last few years that I've known her, she was always a silent server steadily, consistently working behind the scenes and supportive of others. The real excellent thing is that she accepted all human beings for what they were, true, unconditional love for everyone. Now, I've talked about so many things that Shirley was, but I left out one of the most important things. Shirley was a child of God. This church, her faith, were very important to her. This is where the family attended worship for many years. In fact, Shirley's family were charter members of Trinity Lutheran. They helped found this very church. She was baptized here, December 5th, 1937, confirmed at Trinity April 2nd, 1950. United in holy matrimony to Al on January 7, 1958, here at Trinity Lutheran. She had a deep faith in our Lord through her baptism. That baptism is based on believing that we are baptized into Christ's death and resurrection. It is God who chooses us through those waters. We don't choose God. We do not earn an inheritance from God but rather it is a gift of God's grace that we receive. Nothing, absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of God through Jesus Christ. And through that love, Shirley is with her Heavenly Father right now in such a wonderful place, free from the earthly pain that she suffered here on earth. She has taken her place prepared for her in the kingdom of the King because she's been blessed by the Father since creation. As Christians, we know that to be true. God was with us at the very beginning and will be with us until the very end and beyond that. God was with his Son as he suffered on the cross for our sins. And I believe God is with us this very moment as we remember Shirley. God is with us as we mourn Shirley's passing and there will be mourning in the time ahead. But God will not abandon you. He will be with you. God will be with us as we continue our earthly walk in this life. God is with us as we serve our fellow brothers and sisters here on earth, just as Christ served us on earth. So, then, what can we have in the midst of this painful moment? We can experience peace, the peace that only Christ can give. Let us take courage knowing that Christ has made whatever the world might throw at us with really no consequence, since whatever the world might throw at us will not prevent us from enjoying the benefits of the victory, the victory that Christ won over sin and death at the cross when one day we will enter into those gates of glory. Knowing that Christ has come forth from his Father and has returned to his Father, may we by the grace of God see Jesus as the one and only source of life and life abundant. As we heard in our gospel, do not let your hearts be troubled. There are many rooms in my Father's house. 
Because as Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. And we pray that we too, like Shirley is now, at some point in our lives will dwell in our Father's house until we are not until we are reunited with the Father and those we love. And we can just imagine, think for a moment, surely, walking through a field of flowers full of butterflies this very moment. Amen. Our hymn is going to be 272, not 262. 272. <laughs>
Apostles Creed in the front of the green hymnal on page 209. God has made us his people through our baptism into Christ. Living together in trust and hope, we confess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The response to God of mercy is hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, in holy baptism you have knelt your chosen people together into one communion of saints in the body of Christ. Give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. God of mercy. Amen. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and, and rise to new life in Christ. God of mercy. Amen. Give courage and faith to all who mourn, and assure in certain hope of your loving care that, casting all of their sorrows on you, they may have the strength for the days ahead. God of mercy, <coughs> grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith, that where this world groans in grief and pain, your Holy Spirit may lead us to bear witness to your light and life. God of mercy, Help us in the midst of all things we cannot understand to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to life everlasting. God of mercy. God of all grace, we give you thanks because by his death our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed the power of death. And by his resurrection he opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Make us certain that because he lives, we shall live also. That neither death nor life, nor things present nor things to come, will be able to separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we are bold to pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us commend surely to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, surely. Acknowledge we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Our closing hymn is 448.